Hey, what's up, you guys? Bloody Jacob here to give you my thoughts on the 2016 mystery thriller drama, The Girl on the Train, of course, based off of the novel, and of course, stars Emily Blunt, as well as a pretty, you know, significant supporting cast. You got Luke Evans in there, you got uh, Haley Bennett, you got Rebecca Ferguson, Laura Preppen, Lisa Kudrow, as well as uh, Edgar Ramirez and some others. And, uh, of course, my Emily Blunt kick is just not going to stop. Like I said, I have grown to deeply adore and love her work. And she has a person who seems really fucking cool. Um, and this is one I've meant to get to for a while. Uh, and I gotta say, I, shockingly, not so shockingly, really, really like this film. I think it's very, very good. Um, it sort of plays with, uh, of course, the only girl on the train and her kind of overseeing something take place, you know, as she sort of, like, observes people's lives, as she goes on the train every day while she kind of sifts through her own personal turmoil. Um, so what the film does is play with a sort of a unreliable narrator, you know, sort of element. And I think it's uh, maybe the best I've seen do that, at least one of. Um, and uh, Emily Blunt's performance was just, I thought, fantastic. Um, even though you don't fully know all the answers throughout the film, the way it engages you and sort of shows you different perspectives, um, you nonetheless always feel for her and you're sort of like, uh, connected to her, she, Emily Blunt just did a really good job of whatever the outcome is, where the answers are, just really humanizing and sort of showing the depth of emotion and damage this woman has, um, Haley Bennett, I also thought was, uh, a nice surprise watching this as well, um, she seems to be a pretty overlooked actress these days, and I, I like Rebecca Ferguson quite a bit too. She was good to have here. And uh, Luke Evans is has always been one of my favorite male actors. Um, and uh, you know, just plays with the setup of uh, you know this uh, marriage and you know possible affair, and of course murder, and you know kind of what that unravels. And I, I would describe it in more detail. But it's again one of those movies and stories that the less you know about the better, and there's only so much you can say before you spoil an element. I will say there's a point in the film where it gets a little bit more melodramatic per se, and uh, some of the characters get a little more unbelievable. But I'd like to think it's almost sort of playing on that fact that it is based off a novel and a story like this. So it kind of leans into those you know, kind of dramatic turns you know, stories like this and books like this tend to have. Um, and still I felt pretty immersed in the story, and that brings me to something else. I was engrossed in this, the style of it, the way the film was edited. I was always really engaged. It had sort of like that dreary atmosphere to it. And uh, regardless if you disagree with any of that, Emily Blunt, again, indisputably with her performance, always just anchors it, and holy shit, I thought I'd seen all of her range already, and she just continues to show why she's by far one of the best actors or actresses of last two decades. Just, fuck, she's incredible. <laughs> um, and uh, the ending I thought was uh, very satisfying too. It was something a resolution could probably think of, but not the most obvious and not one I was immediately going with either. Um, there are, you know, of course, like a red herring or two. Um, and not everything is as it seems in a way that not all perspectives are right, not all perspectives are wrong. So it has like a realistic sort of, I guess, combination of, uh, you know, each character sort of, uh, you know, take, you know, for lack of a better term. But yeah, I like the movie a lot. If I had to rate it, I'll be honest, I'm giving it an A minus. <laughs> I just have a good nose for what I enjoy, man. I guess if anything, at a certain point, it felt like it was starting to go on a little too long. It is like about an hour 52. Um, Maybe they could have shaved five, ten minutes off. I don't know, but that's me grasping at straws. I really thought this was a very, very good film. And, uh, you know, part of that could be just how incredible the cast was, especially Blunt. Um, but that's part of the magic, right? Well, I guess thought. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, of course, Instagram. I'll catch you guys next time.